There is nothing quite like match day inside a football stadium, especially when there's so much on the line. The build-up has been intense, and now we just can't wait for us all to begin. It's anyone's guess, though, which team will come out on top in front of a packed house. It is Juventus. They face Manchester United, and it's live on EA TV. Hi there, great to have you with us. It's a beautiful sunny day. I'm delighted to be able to report here at the Estadio Presidente Perón. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we have more live action from the pre-season second group stage. It's Juventus up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, after that first game, I'm sure we'll see a lot of squad rotation. And the coach will have had a chance to review their performance. Pre-season or not, there's still three points to win. And a good win here will set the tone for the season. And this is how Juventus will line up. Wojciech Szczesny begins in goal. Adria Rabio starts alongside Weston McKenney in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who will look to provide the goal-scoring threat. A look at the opposition starting lineup today. Well, in this formation, the wide centre-backs need to be good all-round players, both in possession and defensively. They have to defend the box and also get out into the wide areas to cover the wing-backs. Well, and Dusan Vlahovic, we're talking about a very special talent. What do you expect to see from him in this game? Well, Derek, he's so dangerous in the air, but it's not just his aerial ability, it's his movement in the box that buys him that little bit of space to get on the end of crosses. Whether it's in front of defenders or drifting in behind them, he always seems to be in the right place. Diogo Dallo. This has to look a bit lively given the pressure. Bremer. It's way up on the ball. The object of the exercise from Juventus is to get it forward. That's what they're doing. And there the move ends for now. Being pressed and pressed high. Marcus Rashford. Federico Gatti. Bremer. A super tackle and they've won possession. Rashford, Rashford, and it's in, 1-0, they've breached the defence. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power, that's almost unstoppable, that's a great strike. Well, he can't control his delight, can he? It's a wonderful moment for his team. Are back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Locatelli. Radio. Federico Chiesa. Juventus keep possession and it's positive possession. What can they do from this position? Rafael Varan. Fine work from Juve to win back possession. A Juve free kick here.
comes to nothing in the end. Getting close to the halftime interval, United with the lead. Stuart, what strikes you about what they've put into the game? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going at halftime if it stays like this. Ideal for the goalkeeper, for any keeper. Chiesa. Well, let's see about the cross. Crucial intervention just then amid impending danger. They take it short. And a useful cross. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Half-hearted clearance. Vlaovic. Can they stop it going in? And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, one thing we'd have to say about Marcus Rashford in that first half, very difficult to subdue. What did you make of what you saw from him? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Very quick thinking there. Wambi Saka. Who can he pick out? Well, it didn't happen for them in attack. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Well, certainly a lot of focus on the boy over the last year or two, and he seems to have a bright future ahead of him. Hopefully it turns out to be a good move and he can continue to develop his career. <laughs> And he takes it on. Oh, fine stop. And the Juventus personnel change here. Corner kick taken by Christian Eriksen. Juventus doing well to regain possession. Effective piece of pressing. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Rabio. Vlahovic. It's going to be a free kick for Juventus. Weston McKenney. Locatelli with it. 
Moving the ball nicely in search of an equaliser. Rabio. Pressure applied. Can they make something of it? Vigorous defending. Locatelli. And Juventus have done it. A goal for them. Level pegging. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. Here's Luke Shaw. Encouraging stuff from United. Can he put them in front? Well, it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. Corner kick played in. Well, the danger is still there. Firing it in. Oh, body in the way, crucially. It's Jensny. Given away by Christian Eriksen. Now we're inside the final 10 minutes in this one. Well-timed tackle. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? Oh, a wonderful save under the circumstances. Well, he's just stopped his team from losing this game, probably. What an important save that is. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well off target. Didn't have an awful lot of space to work with, however. Well, he senses a goal is coming here. It's just a case of being more clinical now. Weston McKenney. And so into the final five minutes. Will he play it in? McKenney. An alert piece of defending. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Gatti. And there it is, the final whistle, it's a Manchester United victory. Yes, Derek, well, it could have gone either way, couldn't it? It's so competitive for much of the game, but they kept pushing, kept believing, and probably deserved the winner in the end. A great result. Well, as we run the rule over this man's work, positive after positive, Stuart. Well, if anyone deserved to be the match winner, it was him. He played really well today, and what a big goal that was.